Alrighty guys, I'm Morthodon, and we are here for Boruto episode 45. Real quick, once again, this is an air conditioner stream, so if you guys hear a slight humming, the air conditioner is on. It's very warm out, and I'm trying to... I just got out of the shower and everything and did a bunch of stuff, so I'm, I'm a little warm, and I'm trying not to, like, sweat on camera or anything. But, um, regardless of all that, uh, I just want to mention that last week, as long as everything went according to plan... Uh, last week you guys got an extra episode and it was a surprise to me because one night I had some extra free time and I was like I'm just gonna record this episode which is this one here but because I have early access on my patreon what's gonna get released on it's Saturday night right now so on Sunday as long as everything goes according to plan I'll be releasing episode 45 on my patreon which is this one and then episode 44 which is already on my patreon will get released to you guys on youtube it's a little confusing but so i guess what i'm saying by the time you guys see this you're gonna have already seen the bonus clip but i hope you guys enjoyed that i just had some free time decided that i do an extra one maybe uh here i was gonna start another show but i'm thinking i'm just gonna do bonus boruto clips in my free time instead of starting another show for now uh just because at least if I do bonus Boruto clips, I can stop and go whenever I really need to if I do get busy. But since I do have free time recently, that's what I plan on doing. So you guys might see more of that. Especially, I believe, I have to recheck the comment again, but I believe it's 50 and 51 I was told go good together. I was not told what is, you know, what it is that goes good. You know, I wasn't spoiled. I just know that those two go good together, so... And then there's also a recap episode, which I will most likely be watching on my own. So, just so you guys know that. But yeah, so... I guess uh, that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. Extra episodes here and there coming up. It's been a while since I did a double drop, and I've been feeling kind of bad about it. And I had some extra time, so I felt like this was, you know, well-deserved to you awesome Boruto people. Uh, but yeah, so... Anyway, to talk about episode 44, did I say the wrong thing? I don't think I did. For some reason, I feel like I just said 44 a second ago, but that would have... Never mind. Anyway, we're watching episode 45, but in, in episode 44, we had another meeting with the red-haired guy in Shikadai. We saw Shikadai kind of confused at what he believes in. He kind of believes in what the... The Robin Hood ninjas, what I call them, are doing the the, the Byakuya, Byakuya gang. It's so hard because I want to say Byakugan, but it's just a little bit different of a word. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they Shikadai is a little confused. It almost seemed like Ryugi, I think was his name. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Kind of wanted to get Shikadai on his side, but he it didn't happen in that episode anyway. And then I had the speculation that Ryugi might take his gang to rob the scientist guy that Boruto went to go see to borrow games from, because Boruto mentioned that he had a lot of cool stuff. And so I'm thinking if that gets robbed, considering Boruto has heard the guy's voice and kind of recognized it, saw the ice when that Ryugi guy was leaving, uh, like the little cool breeze that happened, and then... If that place gets robbed, I feel like Boruto will finally connect the dots, because Boruto is supposed to be very smart. So, I hope it, I hope if that happens, he connects the dots. But anyway, that's enough talking about this. We're already almost four minutes in. Sorry about that. So, let's jump into episode 45 and see what happens. Alrighty, so we are going to start the episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. Boom, baby. Let's go. Aw, oh, they're kunai, I believe. I've been saying the wrong term between these two. I believe the shuriken are the throwing stars, and the kunai are those... But that's cool, they have like little suction cups on the end. Huh. Jeez, what's going on? Hmm, 
So did the the Robin Hood people do spread like bad rumors or something? Yeah. Mm. Yep, so it was their, their doing. Interesting. <laughs> it's too real, man. This whole this whole arc is like, I feel like there's a lot of what's happening like in our world these days. So real. Boruto touching on the real topics. Yeah, see, I don't I don't agree with false rumors being a way to go about that kind of thing. <laughs> For any of you guys watching full length, sorry I don't talk a lot during these. It's because I cut these out for the edited version on YouTube, and I know that, like, anything I want to say, I kind of want to say during the episode or after the episode so that way everyone can hear it and not just people that are, uh, you know, watching the full length. Kind of thing, you know. So you can just hear my horrible humming that's probably way off and cringy as hell that I'm glad I don't listen to when I edit the episodes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. All right, so this is them piecing it together. Interesting. So it's not a diversion. They have another plan in mind. Hmm. The other villages. Does he mean other villages in, like, the leaf area? Or as in, like, the sand village and, and all those other places? Jeez, it's gotten that bad? Holy crap. Ah, uh, shook an eye. Gotta figure your shit out. Hmm. 
And now over to this guy, thinking about stuff too. Hmm. I wonder if he's relating that to himself. Ooh, maybe he is. Oh, I just, I just realized that connection, I think. I wonder if he's starting to doubt the Byakuya gang, and he's starting to think of himself as that pawn, and sh like how Shikadai didn't even realize that he was being played again. And cool, a little bit of backstory. Oh, this guy's there too. Interesting. I wonder if the dad died in, like, war or something? Wait, did did she just say, do you like... Okay, I think I missed a little line there. I think I misunderstood. Never mind. I don't want to sound like an idiot. But I wonder if the dad died and the guy that was with him that we see in the Byakuya gang now is, uh, is, like, mad at the Lee Village or something. Oof. Damn. The dad had to make it all the way back there and that happened. That's terrible. Oh, no. Don't tell me the mom's gonna die, too. I thought that was the... Wow. Right in front of his eyes. Is the other guy gonna come in and save him now? Like the white-haired guy? Oh! Jeez. Do all that and then... Pass out? Hmm. That's a little suspicious. I'm suspicious. Uh, I don't know. I think he's in on the his parents' death. Yeah. I want to talk about this a bit in, in better detail, so I'm going to wait for the discussion portion for that. Hmm. So did he already have these people under his wing? Interesting. Hmm. Did his dad really do it? I don't know. I want to talk about all this so much more. Holy crap. Unless I answer it this episode.
Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. I wonder. I wonder what all he saw. Cause it always seemed like Shinobi's were like a almost like a celebrity position in this world. But I guess maybe it's changed. But he was still like quite a bit younger. But still, I guess it was probably during peacetime. I don't know. Giving it to the poor people now. To be fair, returning money to someone who lost it to a loan shark? Like, I mean, unless loan sharks mean something else in this world, they kind of did that to themselves. You don't have to go to a loan shark. But, oh well. Oh, a little, a little child version of the mask. I think anyway, it looks smaller. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's what it means. How do you know? <laughs> hmm. I hope that doesn't mean he's gonna try to, like, do something to this friend or something. I don't know. I'm seeing him as such a bad guy. I mean, he could just be a good guy. I don't know. It just feels like manipulation. Everything he says. Okay. Yeah. No, he's a bad guy. <laughs> I don't know why I doubted myself. But... Come on, Shikada, you know you're waiting there for him. I'm trying to think of, like, some, like, what could really come out of this to show it so much, you know? I mean, I suppose that. It played all the way until dark again. Oh, lanterns, so they can play even longer. 
When I was a kid, when the sun started to go down and the streetlights came on, we went home. That's a lie. There were a lot of times we stayed out later than that. And I remember seeing my mom storm down the street. I was like, oh shit, they're coming. Ooh. Hmm. No take backs. Interesting. Oh. Yep. Alright, so Shika and I figured it out. Interesting. Hmm, what is Shek and I gonna do? Because Shek and I has been on the fence about this whole thing. Jeez. Damn. Oh shit. He lied. He lied. Yeah. Oh shit. Shake a die. May not have been the best at Shogi, but he he has shown that he is smart. Oh shit. He's not gonna stop, I don't think. Not until that evil dude shows his evilness. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. That's what he's been thinking about this whole time. Oh, no, shit. I mean, he's right. Shikadai is so unsure what side to go on to. It seems like he can't commit. Oh, damn. Hmm. Does that word mean something else? Interesting. 
or maybe I maybe it's just I heard it wrong because I missed the subtitle because I was trying to look at what he was doing. Um, but I thought he said Mange Keo or whatever, which is the Sharingan thing, right? The second form of the Sharingan? I don't know. Alright. So we're about to see what they're really up to. Oh, and that's the end. Shit. Oh, man. I have a lot to talk about in the discussion. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. That was a good episode, though. A lot of good stuff there. Interesting, interesting. Do 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 guys, so that is the end of episode forty five. Um and shit, that was a good episode. Uh so I don't know if I have a lot of various things to talk about, but I have a big theory when it comes to this. So so here's what I think happened with the father of Rugi and the other guy, the white-haired guy. Sorry, that's what I'm going to call him. I don't even know if we have a name for him yet. So maybe maybe it's me being bad and he does have a name uh, that they've said. But, um, so I'm going to start with that theory. Basically, I think that the white-haired guy was a part of this gang stealing things you know for a long time like before before the father died and you know i i'm and keep in mind guys i can be completely wrong about this don't get like frustrated if i'm wrong you know this is just a theory uh but i'm thinking that the white-haired guy didn't ever tell his dad about it and what happened was the the dad found out about it and the dad was this upstanding shinobi you know this like great guy always followed the rules everything and he found out that his he called him uncle actually maybe he said his name uncle gecko i think it was or something shit so we might actually know his name um but the uncle here let me skip through real fast sorry sorry let me just see if i can find this bit uh so that i need to find the flashback points Uh, I think, doesn't he say it when he wakes up, I think? And the guy's there. Right here, maybe? Sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah, Uncle Gecko. Okay, yeah, okay, I was right, right, right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, I'm thinking that he, Uncle Gecko, was part of this gang stealing things or leading this gang stealing things and then the the dad found out this upstanding guy he was either gonna report him turn him in like tried to convince him to stop or something and so gecko sent one of his men to kill the dad kill the mom and kill the son and what i'm thinking is once the son like that so the the little lackey killed the mom killed the dad and when the son did the ice attack, I think Gecko, like, I don't know why the, the guy freaked out so much, but when, when Ryugi passed out, 
I think there was something after that where like the lackey went to Gecko and was like, "Oh, this kid, this kid's really strong. He's got, you know, this this ice attack that's really powerful." And I don't know if the parents had that attack or not. It could have been unique to him um, and something he just picked up out of his like despair and basically Ge- uh, gecko was like oh we can use this kid he's he's gonna be strong and we can manipulate him you know and so then filled his and you know maybe maybe even killed the lackey to come up with a convincing story or you know they're always wearing masks so it's possible the lackey wasn't actually dead and was faking it by the tree i don't think that's true um but you know, he could always just be in a mask, and at some point, Ryu- Ryugi could see that guy with, like, take his mask off, and it's the one that killed his parents. He's like, I thought you said you killed him, and, uh, or something like that, but I don't think that's the case. I think the the better idea is that Gecko actually killed the lackey to make his story, like, fitting, saying, like, oh, I took out the guy that killed your parents, now, you know, come with me, and then just manipulated him this entire time. Now, I don't have any justification other than the fact that we've seen that this guy is like evil with a different plan in mind so it very well could be the truth the father could have been in on it too and that whole thing is true but i just feel like if they want to go with like a big twist that will turn ryugi into like a good side then my my guess would be that they would have um they would have this be something that happens, and then Ryugi starts second-guessing everything that happens, and then on top of that, the big bad plan that's about to come down uh, on the Leaf Village by the Byakuya gang is gonna be something that Ryugi doesn't stand for either, and he's already questioning himself and thinking of himself as a pawn based on what Shikadai said, which is another thing that I want to talk about briefly, but that's that's my theory, is that the dad wasn't actually part of this gang. The dad really was just, like, an upstanding ninja. When the mom said, like, your dad helps people, she didn't mean by stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, rich. Stealing from the rich, giving to the poor, she meant by helping people, you know, by doing a great job at his job by being a shinobi, you know? And I think that's gonna be a big part of what resolves this whole situation. But, yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I... I hope my theory is right. Maybe there will be a few twists to that story. Maybe none of it will be right, and everything we've seen so far has been the truth. Who knows? But yeah, that's that's really great. And then I love the tie-in between... You know, I've kind of been thinking it, and I have no problem with it, but the shogi games they've been having, I never really saw like a, like how that could tie into the main story. I thought this was just a side thing to... like you know, create drama between Ryugi and Shikadai at some point down the line. But it's actually kind of cool that it's influencing uh, Ryugi a bit, because Shikadai talking about how, oh, you moved that, you did that same move again, and I, what did he say? He said something like, I, I fell for it again or something. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what he said word for word, but it kind of like, it kind of triggered something in Ryugi, and that's around right when I noticed it too, when he was flashing back to it, that that was probably Ryugi realizing that just like he was like, you know, pulling the shades over Shikadai's eyes, this is probably what Uncle Gecko has been doing to him this whole time, is, you know, pulling this, you know, shade over his eyes and everything, so... Um, I'm wondering how that's going to influence things, but, you know, at the end of this episode, he seemed to resolve himself, but I still think that internally he's very conflicted and doesn't know what to do, so, yeah. And then, one thing I did want to look back on, uh, is the whole thing where Shikadai figured out based on what he said, because I didn't understand that. Um, because he said something like, uh, you, he knew something about the, the corporation that Boruto was talking about, but Boruto explained it, didn't he? Boruto said he had all kinds of these cool things. I don't know. 
But yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching through right now. I didn't want to skip anymore because sometimes I skip past it. So it's just playing right now while I'm chatting. Okay, he's about to say it. Let's see. And Boruto showed up. So this Katsuki lab has lots of unusual things, huh? Someone who's just come to the village wouldn't know that. But Boruto showed up and said that Katsuki had all these limited edition games. Didn't he? Didn't last episode Boruto show up and say that? He was like, oh, Katsuki has all these limited edition games. Unless Boruto never mentioned it's a lab. And he's mentioning that he knew that it was a lab. You know, maybe Boruto just mentioned the name. And the fact that uh, Ryugi knew that it was a lab meant that he knew more about the village than he had in like initially said. And maybe that's what it is. I, I was just a little confused by that. And maybe that's the subtitles. Maybe my version of the subtitles are a little different and it was a little more confusing. But I don't know. Uh, that's interesting. So I just wanted to look back at that because I wasn't sure if I misread something. But I didn't misread it. I just probably misunderstood it. It was... It's probably on me. It probably makes sense. I probably just don't understand. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, so I mean, I feel like this was a short discussion, but I feel like I don't really have much else to talk about because I, I don't know what their plan is. I don't even have, like, any idea what a group of thieves could do. My only thought is that they're gonna, like, start some kind of attack. And, but I don't know what they gain, what they expect to gain from an attack. Like, if they tried to, like, say, kill the Hokage to try to, like, make a change or something and take over the Leaf Village, I feel like that would just go bad for them, and I feel like a lot of people would stop backing them at this point. I don't know. And, like, pushing everyone to these different things. They call it the Crest of Night strategy. I'm really not sure. But yeah, so since I don't really, I can't really think of what this plan could be, I don't really have any predictions regarding it. We're just going to have to wait till uh, next episode, which I'm assuming is when we're going to see it. So that'll be interesting. And sometimes, like, as for a video recording kind of thing, I wish I could come up with a theory. Other than the generic, you know, it'll be an attack, which is like one of the most obvious things you can think of. It's also kind of nice, though, because then I won't be expecting it. You know, whatever it is, unless it's an attack. <laughs> and then I'll expect it. But, but yeah, so at least I might be, like, pleasantly surprised by it. Because, I, I mean, unless there's some kind of, like, really big score they can do, but... I'm almost thinking... I'm feeling like Gecko has a different plan... Like, all of this stealing and Robin Hood-type work has been to get people on his side, but he actually has, like, a way more evil plan in mind. And I'm thinking that's what this Crested Knight strategy is. And this is what's gonna create a divide between Ryugi and Gecko, like I said. And... Yeah, I just feel like it's something other than stealing. So I don't think they're just gonna, like, go steal something else, you know? Like, this is the ultimate catch... An ultimate thief's dream is to steal this diamond, you know? Like, I don't think it's going to be something like that. Rather, it's going to be something more like, you know, now that I've amassed all these people on my side, I'm going to do this and they're all going to follow me because they think I'm a good guy and doing the right thing, you know? So, and then Ryugi will be, like, the only one that fights against it, would be my guess, if I'm going to go with, like, most, like, traditional anime-style stuff. So, yeah. I guess that's really all I have to say. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the next episode. This was a really good episode, even though the discussion wasn't as long as some of my other ones, but it was very, very good. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to call it here and go edit this video so I can get it out for you guys. Uh, for me, uh, it'll be tomorrow when I'm releasing this, so I get to get it edited so I can render it overnight and everything. But yeah. So if you guys enjoyed, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I very much appreciate it. If you are watching this on YouTube and you want to see the next episode already, you can check out my Patreon where I have benefits. Or if you want to see the full length instead of the cut up version, you can catch that on Patreon as well. And you're also supporting the channel and what I do, which is 
something I very much appreciate. And then you can also check out my uh, my anime list down in the description below. There'll be a link to it, as well as a link to Patreon, as well as a link to my Twitch stream. Uh, if you guys want to check that out as well. If you guys are into any kind of gaming, you want to come chat with me about stuff or whatever. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.